Defenders hate matching up against him, but his teammates absolutely love playing with him. Michael Sowers is one of the most feared college lacrosse players that we've seen in a while, and one thing that he does better than anyone else? Dodging. With his quick first step and unreal vision, it's borderline impossible to stop Michael Sowers on the lacrosse field. Hey guys, it's Jake with Lax Weekly, and today I want to break down exactly what makes Michael Sowers such an effective dodger, and figure out what drills and techniques we can use to implement parts of his game into our own game. Whether you just started playing lacrosse or you're a college player, you're going to know everything you need to do to become an unstoppable dodger. Like I always say, I'd highly recommend re-watching the video and taking notes to soak everything in, because I'm about to throw a lot of information at you. Before we get started, do you mind if I send you an email each week with even more lacrosse tips and advice just like this? If that answer is yes, come on over and join the free Last Weekly email newsletter. Almost 600 of you have already subscribed, and you can also follow me on Twitter or Instagram at LaxWeeklyHQ. Now let's get into the video. So the number one way you can start dodging like Michael Sowers? Start utilizing the back of the cage, that little triangular piece behind the goal. The back of the cage sticks out behind the crease, and if you bring your defender close enough to the crease, they have to step over it. Just that step, that little hesitation that the defender has to do when stepping over the goal is enough for you to get separation and score. If you can constantly get your defender to step over the goal, you are going to become unstoppable. So the next logical question is, well, how do I put my defender in a position to step over the goal? The first thing to do is to dodge at really sharp angles, meaning you're almost tangent to the crease line. It's when you're so close to the crease that your defender has to step over the goal. The only problem is, when you're so close to the crease, you run the risk of actually stepping in it, which is a turnover. That's why practicing this stuff is so important. It's not just something you think about, it's muscle memory that you get with repetition. But if you're playing against a half-decent defender, they aren't just going to let you dodge at sharp angles, you have to earn it. This means you have to learn two or three go-to initial moves that you can use to throw your defender off and force him to chase you. My two to three go-to moves are the split dodge, the roll dodge, and the finalizer. Try to spend 30 minutes three times a week just practicing these initial moves and dodging close to the crease. If you practice all of these moves enough, it will become second nature and you won't even have to think about anything. That's when you get really, really dangerous. So the next way you start dodging like Michael Sowers is to embrace physical contact. I see a lot of younger attackmen who are afraid to get hit and shy away from defenders. If you want to become great at lacrosse, you have to be willing to take hits and lean into defenders. In fact, Michael Sowers said this very thing himself. I'm going to take Sowers' speed away. I'm going to get into him. How do you counter that? So what I'm going to do is, if he's taking my space away, I'm going to create my own space by getting physical. So as you come out, boom, I'm going to attack your top hit. Boom, and I'm going to bounce. By embracing contact, you can use your defender's momentum to their disadvantage by leaning in, letting them push you, and then quickly backing out of space. Defenders try to intimidate you by throwing hard checks and getting physical. But let me tell you, if you're the one initiating that contact, most defenders will have no idea what to do. So I'm here, boom, I'm into him, I'm into him, I'm popping, boom, yeah. and now I'm coming top side. You also find yourself in situations where you have to dive or make a feed knowing you're about to get hit, and you have to be able to take those hits. Lacrosse is a contact sport, and make sure you're embracing contact. So now you've made your initial move at X, you're embracing contact, the next way to play like Michael Sowers is being able to shoot and finish the ball at very low angles, meaning you have a very small space of the goal to shoot at. You'll see many of Sowers' goals are when he's maybe one or two yards up the field. With a big goalie already covering up most of the cage, there's really not that much room to shoot, yet Sowers consistently puts the ball in the back of the net more than 30% of the time. But if you struggle with this, don't worry. This is actually something we know Sauer struggled with when he started playing in college. You know, it wasn't until we watched extensive film of him through his first couple weeks that he wasn't finishing the ball that well. Coach March, a credit to him and our offensive coordinator, did a ton of work with him just about shooting with different leverages and different points of contact. So in order to shoot at low angles like this, you have to be able to use your eyes and shoulders to deceive the goalie. This can mean you tilt your head high and then shoot the ball low. Or maybe you tilt your head like you're going to shoot it top right, but you actually finish bottom left. By just using your eyes, most goalies will be fooled and you will be able to score. But like I said, this isn't easy and it takes hours of practice at home. I'd encourage you to go out at least three times a week with a bucket of lacrosse balls and practice your low angle shooting. If you can get this down now, especially as a younger lacrosse player, defenses will be left confused on how to guard you. 
Now the next reason why Sowers is such an effective dodger is that he's a pass first player, meaning his eyes and stick are always up when he's dodging. By keeping your eyes and stick up, defenders won't want to slide to you because they know that you can make an easy pass. This will open up way more space for you to score. One of the biggest mistakes I see younger attackmen make is keeping their eyes down while they dodge. You miss really easy assist opportunities and defenders know they can slide to you and you won't see it coming. But hey, I understand. The reason why most people dodge with their head down is because it can be uncomfortable to keep your eyes up. The only way to get better at this is by being so comfortable with your stick that your brain literally knows it doesn't have to look down anymore. In my opinion, the best way to get comfortable with your stick isn't by some fancy drill, but just by having the lacrosse stick in your hands more. If you're doing homework or playing video games, take 5 minutes every hour or so to take a break and pick up your lacrosse stick. Just get used to the feel of it. If you did that every day, just 3 times a day, by the end of the year that's nearly 100 extra hours of you getting comfortable with the lacrosse stick, and it doesn't even take that much effort. I hope you're getting by now that practicing lacrosse doesn't have to be some huge burden and a grind. If you're willing to do the little things but just do them really consistently, you're going to find a ton of success in this sport. Okay, the next way to become the next Michael Sowers is by developing your mental game. Enough of me talking, let's let Sowers talk about this. How much of the attack position is this, mental? I think 100%. How so? I think that, you know, just lacrosse in general is, is such a mind game. You could be the greatest player in the world, but if you have no confidence, yeah. um, it's going to be tough. So yeah, straight from his mouth, Sowers says that a majority of lacrosse is mental. Yet no one really practices the mental side of lacrosse. There are two things that really stick out to me about Sowers' mental game. Number one, like he said, his confidence. If you're not confident, you can't be a good lacrosse player. It's as simple as that. But how do you be confident? Well, I'm going to make a separate video on this, but here are my two big pieces of advice. A, you need to put in more work than everyone else on the field. That should take care of most of your confidence. And B, you have to love lacrosse and realize that it's just a game. It's the best sport on earth and I watch it every single day. But it's not life and death. When you really think about it, it's not something you should feel nervous about. It's just a fun sport where we try to throw a rubber ball into the back of a net. Does that make sense? But the other part that I really respect about Sowers' mental game is his short-term memory, meaning he doesn't care if he made a mistake. His head is already on to the next play. If you actually look at his stats, he's averaged almost two turnovers a game for a while. That means that two times a game, he's completely responsible for giving the ball to the other team. And that can be a tough pill to swallow. But when you watch him play, it's like he's already forgotten about it. When he gets the ball back, he's dodging and passing as if he's already scored 10 goals. If you can be like that, you are going to be unstoppable. And finally, I don't think I can make this video without saying that a portion of Michael Sauer's success just comes from his physical gifts. He's simply a human being that was born faster than most other human beings. I could work as hard as I could on my speed and still not be as close to as fast as him. But here's the thing, that doesn't matter. Speed is Sowers' strong suit, but he has parts of his game that aren't as strong. For example, his outside shooting isn't amazing, but that doesn't stop him from being a great lacrosse player. In lacrosse, it's all about finding what you can be the best at and executing it. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter at LaxWeeklyHQ where I discuss even more stuff like this. And please subscribe to the always free Lax Weekly email newsletter. I'm super appreciative to all of you for the support you've given me. You can always reach out to me at my email, contactlaxweekly at gmail.com. Or you can DM me on Instagram. Comment down below who you want to see next and make sure you find a friend who could use this video too. I'll see you next time.